Here at home, people have been following the story of this little dog taken from his neighborhood before finally being reunited with his owners almost two weeks later. You may have heard about Jojo on social media. News 12's Will Rio talked to his owners in Evans to find out more about Jojo's journey. In the Renew family, Jojo here is the king. Jojo's our baby. <laughs> and when the two-year-old King Charles Cavalier Spaniel left his throne unexpectedly, the Renew family knew something wasn't right. I was basically in tears. On December 22nd, Jojo escaped from his home in Evans. We searched high and low. Tom flew drones. We put flyers in every mailbox of all the surrounding neighborhoods. We we broadcast across Facebook. We did all the rescue shelters, all the vets. They had no luck. After 11 days, the Renews got a scent tracking dog that led them to their neighbor's house across the street where contractors had been working. At that point, we felt like he had been taken. They filed this police report with the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. The next day, a worker told the Renews he knows who took JoJo. A warrant was issued for James Crumpley and Emily Cutlip in Saluda County. But before deputies could find them, a family member of Crumpley or Cutlip tried to return JoJo, but got the street names mixed up. The Lord probably put him in the perfect neighborhood because the people of that community just rallied to help us. He ended up in Augusta near Josie High School. They had taken care of him. One person said he had sat on the porch with him. Another person said he'd slept for a few hours in their house. Another person fed him and another one watered him. The Renews say the power of social media was used for good to help spread the word until Jojo was finally reunited with his family after 13 long days. Cavaliers love everybody and and they'll go with anybody and that's kind of may have gotten us in a little bit of trouble there. In Columbia County, Will Rio on your side. What an adventure it's been for Jojo. Glad he's back sleeping at home tonight. Well, coming up, there may be another